Welcome to another episode of All Three Sports TV. I'm Alex, and uh, we're here again at Zip Speed Weaponry. And proud to have uh, Brian, Director of Sales and Marketing for uh, Zip, with us today. With the Sub 9 and the 1080, some of the fastest wheels in the world, how do you, how does Zip as a company not rest on that and say, you know, hey, we've done it. You know, we're out here, we made the, we made the best stuff. You guys have been doing it for so long. How do you keep doing it? It's a part of our culture and everything that we do. Whether it's, um, you know, designing a wheel, designing a crank, um, you know, improving the way we handle the customer experience, improving our website, you know, whatever it is, we're always looking and never really uh, satisfied with, with where we are today. So we, we, uh, we're very careful not to become complacent. Um, and I think that that is driven throughout our, our culture and it's, and it's reflective in our products. If you look at our 404 today, um, that product has been uh, changed um, in some way uh, for the last, I believe, six years. So every year we're making us a, another adjustment to it. And the consumer may not always see that, but you know we're either changing the, uh, uh, the, the rim shape a little bit, or we're, we're taking a little weight out of the hub, or we're changing a spoke pattern, but we're constantly uh, looking and, and, and changing. And it's mostly based on customer feedback and uh, professional um, feedback in the, when we make these changes. So. I say we're we're in, in a constant process. Um, you know, the, the sub nine today. We're we're looking for ways to you know make that more uh, efficiently, make uh, make it more aerodynamic. I mean, there's there's just never really a time where we're I guess you would say that we're, we're satisfied with, with where we are with our products. If you take our 1080 for example, we introduced uh, the 1080 um, as a uh, it's, it's now uh, essentially the fastest non-disc wheel in the world, but before that it was our 808 wheel. We could have stayed with an 808 and we were, you know, we have one of the, you know, the, the best uh, deep wheels out there, but our goal was um, to continue to improve and look for that, that next level. Uh, and that's how we came out with the 1080. 1080 wheel alone has more wind tunnel hours in it than any other wheel product that we've introduced and probably more wind tunnel hours than some wheel companies have in all their wind tunnel time together. So that was very expensive. We didn't have to do that. Um, we had 808, it was a great wheel, but we went and spent the time and spent the uh, effort to come out with an even faster wheel. Um, and I think that's that kind of uh, summarizes our philosophy on all of our products. Uh, we're willing and uh, uh, we want to continually improve and, and take the uh, the next step and we're willing to put the time and effort into doing it. 